Drilling and blasting is the most frequent used rock excavation technique. Blasting breaks rocks and quarries for an aggregate production operation or also to excavate a right of way for a road, canal, or railroad. Blasting is accomplished by discharging an explosive that either has been placed in an unconfined or confined space, such as a borehole. Drills are commonly mounted on track carriages to drill boreholes. These small, self-contained drills are very productive tools because of their ability to move quickly between boreholes on jagged rock surfaces. Compressed air flows through a hole in the drill steel and the bit to remove the cuttings from the hole and to cool the bit. Drill rods are made of hollow steel and typically range from 10 to 20 feet in length. They are continually added to reach the bottom of the bench or depth to be blasted. Here the bench height is set at 15 feet. The success of a drilling operation depends on the ability of a bit to remain sharp under the impact of the drill. Most bits are replaceable units that screw to the drill steel rod. They come in various sizes, shapes, and hardness. Rates of drilling rock will vary from less than 20 feet per hour to over 100 feet per hour. Commercial high explosives widely used for blast hole charge are dynamite and ANFO. Dynamite is used extensively for initiating or charging the blast hole. This nitroglycerin-based product is the most sensitive of all the generic classes of explosives in use today. Individual cartridges vary in size from approximately 1 to 8 inches in diameter and 8 to 24 inches in length. A detonator or a primacord fuse may be used to fire the dynamite. ANFO is used extensively for construction blasting and represents about 80% of all explosives. ANFO is a liquid mixture of industrial grade ammonium nitrate fertilizer and number no. 2 diesel fuel oil. Because it must be detonated by special primers, ANFO is much safer than dynamite. It is also free flowing and can be either blown or pumped from bulk trucks directly into the blast holes. Water gels and emulsions are also used in construction blasting, especially when water is present in the boreholes to keep the ANFO from separating. In construction and surface blasting applications, millisecond delay electronic detonators are frequently used. Millisecond delay blasting can be used both in single row and in multiple row shots. When each charge breaks its part of rock mass from the burden before the next charge detonates, ground vibration, air blast, and fly rock are minimized and fragmentation is increased. Here, a simultaneous row blast produces a good result without fly rock. Every blast must be designed to meet the existing conditions of the rock formation and overburden, and to produce the desired final result. Fracture planes, seams, and changes in bench height must be considered. Rock drilling and blasting continues to be important in many mining operations and construction projects. It is important for exploration of minerals, natural gas, oil, and for drilling holes for loading explosive charges to blast rock.